when <laughs> when I was like six years old, I asked my grandfather, Grandpa, you need to help me make a harp. So he was like, whoa, what do you mean? I said, yeah, look at this picture. I'm like, okay, let's try it. So we go down to his basement workshop and just put like a triangle of wood together. And we took some wire and nail and screwed that in. And then, so we made a harp. I remember that so, so vividly, you know, it's really beautiful. Um, I started making instruments because also when I was in Toronto, I was doing a lot of composing for contemporary dance, right? And uh, a lot of that was computer-based, but using uh, uh, actual acoustic sound as opposed to synthesizers, right? So I would gather sounds, I'd record sounds and, and use that and, and play instruments. So I started to make instruments for certain sounds, you know. A lot of them were pretty simple, but it kind of got me going on it. And I, I also, these, and this was part of it too, like the first one I made was kind of like a small gourd with a single low E bass, bowed, you know, a um, double bass string that was bowed, had a skin on it. So the skins become kind of a theme, right? You'll notice uh, almost all the instruments I have here have skins on them as sounding surfaces. So. That happened when I was living in New Brunswick, and it was hunting season, and I wasn't hunting. Like, the place I was living at, my friends were vegetarians and stuff, but they were okay with me working in hides, right? So I went to a local, um, a place, a local, pl it's a small town in New Brunswick, right? So a local place where hunters bring their deer, and, the, and they prepare the deer for them and pack it up, and they freeze it, whatever, right? Um, you see that all over the place, right? companies that do that. So before the hunting season, I went to them and said, oh, can I have your deer hides? So I got the deer hides and then I, I was doing, mostly I, wanted, I was interested in doing uh, smoke tanning, like brain smoke tanning, soft, soft leather hides. But I kept a few as raw hides, thinking, oh, I'll, I'll make something with it, you know. And that's what I got into instruments and that's where I started to, that's when I made my first Quora. <laughs> I love West African music and have for ages. So I thought, oh, I could make a chora. <laughs> so then, well, I need a gourd. So I found a gourd, and the first instrument I made was quite small. And that's where I got into it. And then I made, also made, got some other gourds and made kind of gourd banjos. And all that kind of stuff happened from that base. And so that's, I just started to make, do more and more, you know. Part of when I was making my first Quora in New Brunswick was the idea like, oh, I really need to want to do something that I could do anywhere. I need no electricity, I need no nothing. I could do it from just things I found on the land. So that, you know, and living here too is part of that. Oh, I can live here, I don't need electricity. I like it, I love internet, all that stuff, I have it, but if it goes away, no problem. So. Um, for for me, the overriding element is is ha is being in nature. It's simple as that. So in a way, even though I I love making them and I think they're really beautiful and all that stuff, it, it's just it's just the kind of a side byproduct of the of the desire to be in a certain kind of natural environment. I guess you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. I like it. <laughs>